Hi, this is Michaela with TechWise Academy, and we are very excited for the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. And in celebration of that eclipse, we've made an animation on Scratch that will kind of explain what it looks like, and then we'll talk about what it looks like here on Earth. If you are a teacher and you'd like to try this with your students, or if you are on spring break and you'd like to give it a go, check out the description below. There will be a PDF in there that will show you exactly how to build the animation and what each line of code does. So if you would like to give it a go, definitely let us know how it turned out. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this animation. So when I press the green flag, we've got our moon and it's traveling around the Earth. When So right now there's not an eclipse because the sun is not casting light on the moon. So right here, the sun casts its light on the moon and the moon is casting a shadow on Earth. So it will, on Earth, it'll look like darkness for a little bit and then it'll go back to daytime and that's because the sun is casting a shadow on the moon when they're perfectly aligned so i'm going to go ahead and let our moon come back around so that we are in the eclipse state and then i'll stop the animation and we'll look at what the code is very briefly so if i go ahead and i hit c inside we've got no code on the sun the earth this code is just telling it to go to the back layer so that way our shadow can appear overlapping with the earth. And then we have our moon and this basically is going, these lines of code right here will tell the moon to turn and to move so that's how we get it to travel around the earth. And then this line of code will basically tell us when this shadow should show up. So if the y position is greater than negative 50, so this number down here is 6 and that is greater than negative 50 and the x position is greater than negative 63, it's at negative 29, and the eclipse is set to no, so it's set to no at the start of the game, or the start of the animation, then we will set the eclipse to yes and broadcast, broadcast eclipse. And then we've got our code for the shadow, so when it gets the message, it will move with the moon, and then it will hide and set the eclipse to no. So that is our little animation. We hope that you try it out. We hope that you enjoy it. If you are planning to watch the solar eclipse, please stay safe and let us know if you saw anything super awesome. So thank you, and we'll see you later. Bye.